Hello there, it's Pastor Schmidt. It's September 22nd, I believe, and it's a Friday, and here I am, standing in one of our classrooms in the Fellowship Hall, next to one of these white tables here. You may not know this, I like things clean, I like things tidy, and if I have to walk past something that's dirty on the property more than once or twice and nothing's happening, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean it. I'm going to take care of it. One good example of that are these white tables here. These white tables that you no doubt have eaten a Reformation breakfast on or a Valentine's Day meal on or an Easter brunch or something. These tables get used for anything and everything, um, especially for vacation Bible school. And they get filthy. And I'd walk past these things. I'm like, what can I do? I've taken one of those green scratchy pads with Comet, poured it all over, scrubbed it. That does a little bit, but there's some stains that just won't come off. I have tried pressure washing these tables to get these stains off. And that didn't work either. It just drove me crazy. So I resigned myself to just having to live with dirty white tables. And then one day... Somebody from church said, Pastor, have you tried one of those Mr. Clean magic erasers? And I said, no. And then I did. And now I can't stop cleaning these tables. These Mr. Clean magic erasers are incredible. They get it all. Well, that makes a pastor think. Wow. Removing stains. We have the stain of sin all over us, and we try to remove it in all sorts of creative ways. Uh, so many church bodies and people have come up with ways to get rid of your sin. If you just give enough money to the church, pay the priest off, do enough good works, and uh, God will erase it all. Well, that's not how it works. No matter how hard we try, we can't erase sin. Here goes nothing. This hurts me to do, but I know there's a solution. Our sins are oh, they're red they stain and God doesn't like them and we might try I got a wet rag here we might try to deal with it ourselves and no matter how hard I scrub at this I can't make it go away in fact it just gets uglier the more I try, ish, 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 what have I done? Oh, but thank God for these guys. Check this out. Look at that. I'm getting nothing from Mr. Clean for doing this, but I am just flabbergasted by how these things work. <laughs> Look at that. Gone. Pastor, what are you getting at here? Well, come on now. You could figure this out, couldn't you? Listen to what it says in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Ah, oh, magic erasers are pretty cool. But we've got Jesus to take away all of those horrible sins that haunt us and dog us and make us feel bad. We don't have to. Jesus has taken them away by his blood on the cross. You are completely forgiven. You are washed clean, cleaner than any table at our Savior Lutheran Church, cleaner than anything that a magic eraser could do. You are spotless, perfect in God's sight because of Christ. Wow. I hope you had as much fun as I did. All right, have a good one, you guys. Forgiven children of God. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.